Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining me in this bag collection video. If you're new here, my name is Rebecca. I post fashion and beauty videos. I'd like it if you stuck around. So you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you find at the end of this video, you've enjoyed it, hit the like button. So today we are going to be going through my bag collection, aka all of my bags. My bags in my closet are located in an extremely inconvenient place. It's the top shelf in my closet. My entire like closet is just shelves and it's the top part of the closet that you can only see half of the shelf because it goes up high. Am I making any sense? I really don't know anymore. Anyways, I don't have easy access to my bags so I forget about a lot of them because it's just like a jumbled mess up there. And I thought, what a great thing to do. Pull down all my bags, see what I've got. Possibly declutter some. I do have a Depop, I will link it down below. I thought it was a good opportunity to show you guys all my bag. I did a shoe collection video a while ago, quite a while ago now, but I'll link that down below and you guys seem to have really liked that, so I figure let's just move on to another accessory. So here we are, we're here with all of my bags. So let's just get right into it. I figure we may as well start with a fan favorite, Bagu. I have a lot of Bagu bags, like all across the board, all different styles. There's lots of Bagu going on here. Uh, Begu is kind enough to send me new pieces from their new collections every now and again. So I have to say, I'm not sure if I have the world's largest Begu collection, but it certainly feels like it. But I've also grown such attachment to all these pieces, I can't get rid of any of them. So, so we'll start with re reusable Begus. These are the baby size. There's baby size, standard, and then, I don't know what the big one's called, big, large... I have all three sizes. So these are the baby bags. They're kind of just like a, an arm bag you carry in the crook of your elbow. Um, they don't really fit up on your shoulder and they're just a very cute size. I use mine a lot for lunch bags and I always keep usually one of these and one of the standard bags in the purse that I'm carrying that day. So I have a blue gingham, market, hot pink, and cherry blossom. I don't know if these are the official names but we'll just roll with it. Then we have standard size. I don't have all of my bagus here just you know just in terms of like these reusable bags i know i'm definitely missing some they may be in the wash they're fantastic because you can wash them like so i'll use mine for groceries and if it gets a little bit dirty i just throw it in the wash so i do have quite a few of these standard size i also occasionally lose the pouches for them i think you can write bagu and they'll send you new pouches if you lose them so i have the solid neon green i have this blue leafy guy and then I have all of these, all from various seasons. But this cheetah print here, one, this cheetah print one here is the newest one. And then I have the massive size, which you can see it's in comparison to the baby. It's quite a bit bigger. This you can actually fit. I tested it. You can fit two queen size pillows in here. Weird thing to test, but I did in fact test it. And then I have the mesh totes, which are the same size as the standard totes, I believe, um, but they're obviously mesh. I like these because their pouches are a little zipper pouch, so you can use the little pouches as well. If I'm traveling, I like to pack these little pouches and, you know, put random crap in them. And then I have other totes from Bagu. So this is just like a black and light pink gingham, like cotton style one. And then I also have like a light purple stripey one. And then I have a ripstop one. Ooh. Ripstop kind of black and white gingham with the patterned strap. And then this, which is really cool, I'm not going to open it up, but it's a backpack. And then you can tuck it into its front pocket so it's in this little pouch. How convenient. You thought we were done with the bagu. We're not. I also have this bagu side bag. I think I've been responsible for so many people, like in my close life, buying this bag because I do nothing but rave about it. It seems like a small bag. You can literally fit the world in this bag. There's so much space. It's like shocking. You just keep putting stuff and it just keeps fitting. I don't understand it, but it's great. And it also comes in a lot of cute colors. I just happen to have the black one. I also got this little guy. This is this cute little leather kind of handbag. I think the color is chartreuse. It's super cute. I don't wear it a ton just because I'm one of those people that uses a big bag once and then is used to being able to carry all that stuff and then I'm like well, well I can't carry a small bag so if I do use this bag it's usually for like my wallet my phone my keys and then I have like a tote on my shoulder um 
with all my other necessary stuff that I need to bring with me everywhere, like a bullet journal, a massive pencil case, water bottle, keep cup, the usual. And then I think lastly, oh, almost lastly, well, the last purse I have is this new guy. So this, I believe, is the structured bag in a size large, I think it's called. I'll link all these down below as I can find them. Um, but this is brand new for fall winter. It's a super, super cute bag. It's got a, a great adjustable strap and it's adjustable quite a bit. So you're able to get it as short or as long as you want. It fits a ton of stuff in here. I actually really, really love the shape of this bag. I think as of now it's available in this color, which is called Kelp black maybe burgundy i think in the large and then they also do a small size which is available in a few colors as well all their leather bags come with a dust bag which is essentially just like a cotton tote and i love these i have a lime green one that came with my other bag bag it's currently in the wash because i got beet juice all over it but i love this red bag as well i use these just as purses okay now lastly i just have a couple bag wallets so firstly this little guy it's like a little lemon or lime it's very cute and the pull tab is the little leaf i have my u.s cash in here which we actually just booked a trip to new york next month i'm s no not next month almost september we're gonna be there for fashion week um i'm so excited to go and now i have my trusty lyman wallet and then i also have this wallet this wallet brings me so much joy i can't even tell you it is orange with like a little lilac -y zipper. It's so cute, the color. And then on the inside, it's so practical. So let me just walk you through. It's got like the normal card slots here. It's got a little change pouch there, which is awesome because that's like my biggest pet peeve is having, I'm okay, I'm being dramatic, not my biggest pet peeve, but I don't like having to carry multiple wallets for change and bills. And then it's got obviously the bill slot and then it's got additional storage in the sides there as well as behind the change pouch. There's just so much you can fit in here. It's, yeah, my favorite wallet. On the note of wallets, we may as well just continue. I have this little, it's like a change style purse uh, wallet. It's just, oh, my Sephora card's in there. It's like you open it from the top and then there's another thing that you open in there. So you can put your cards down the side and then put your change in the middle. I get got this guy a couple years ago at Dover Street Market. It's just like a nice yellow leather. It doesn't have any branding. I have no idea who makes it or where it's from, but I did get a pen on it. So I don't really use it anymore. I know there are cleaners available that you can get to clean that off, but I just keep that kind of on the side of my bags. And then I have this little Marc Jacobs snapshot wallet which is super cute. Uh, Pat got me this for Christmas, I believe, because I was looking for a new wallet. And I don't use this wallet as much anymore just because it doesn't fit as much stuff as my Bagu wallet. But if I use my Marc Jacobs Snapshot purse, this fits a little bit better. So I'll pop my cards in this rather than my Bagu wallet and we'll go on with our day. The perfect segue. I'm really trying to get in on these segues here leading into my Marc Jacobs snapshot bag. So this is the Marc Jacobs snapshot bag, as I said multiple times. Um, I have this one in the, the Playboy collaboration. So it's got the adjustable Playboy like guitar strap, I believe it's called, which is like, just like a thick strap. The hardware on it is gold, which I would prefer silver as I only wear silver jewelry but I do really still love this bag. It's got pink on the front, blue on the sides and the bottom, and then green and pink on the back. And then the pull tabs here are both green. It's got a uh, two little openings here, which is super cute, but super annoying. So if they had just gotten rid of this middle section, I've honestly debated taking this in somewhere to get them to remove the middle section. This purse would fit so much more, but because it's got this middle section, it's kind of impractical. Like you can't fit, I can barely fit my camera in one side of the purse because it just needs a touch more room. Whereas if it didn't have the middle thing, I, I would be able to fit it just fine. Anyways, I still love this bag. I don't get it as much use out of it just because it is quite small, but I think it really still is a great bag and it's so cute. I ordered this off of Essence, maybe last year. Another Marc Jacobs bag I have is this 
big nylon bag. This bag, I believe I got at Nordstrom Rack. I got it super on sale, I remember that. It's super cute, I had wanted it when it was full price and I believe when it was full price it was around like $400 or $500. I don't feel comfortable paying that price point for a nylon bag that I'm probably just gonna like throw around. So I got it on super sale. I actually think it was like $99 and it's super cute. It's such a good shape. So long enough strap to fit on the, under the shoulder. Got these like two side straps which actually make it super convenient for like zipping it up and down because you can just grab the strap and then zip. Um, it's super, super spacious. You can fit literally like if I'm going out and I need to take a ton of stuff, I just can bring this bag and it fits everything. And it has this super cute love keychain, which I love. And I, this little kind of ball and chain thing here, sometimes I detach and I just wear as a bracelet. So, I mean, really get my money's worth there. Now, a bag I use almost every day, my JW Anderson disc bag. You guys have seen a lot about this bag. I did a full, like, review and unboxing and, like, me buying this bag, which I will link down below for you guys to check out. I go into like details of like the pockets and what it can fit and all that kind of stuff for anyone who's thinking about maybe investing in one of these bags. I go over everything. I also showed this bag to you guys in my latest video, which is my designer haul video. I will also link that down below. Anyways, you guys don't need to hear more about this bag. I love it. I wear it probably like four days of the week, I would say. It's great, fits all my stuff, super comfortable, and very nice quality. Another bag that I wear most of the week is my Ellie Dots Nanu bag. It is, uh, Nanu is a Danish brand. I also did a, a video on this bag, which I will link down below for you guys to check out. But this is a fantastic bag, I love it. I wear it way more than I thought I would. Quality of it's really nice. It's got unfinished edges, which can look a little bit worse for wear if it like rubs too much against some things, but it's really not bad. The only thing that I've noticed is on the strap. So the straps kind of have seams in them attaching two pieces of leather. I've noticed at some point some of the leather separating a little bit, which I'm concerned may become a bit of an issue, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But I do really, really love these bags. I debated getting a black one at one point when I was looking to fill the void that my JW Anderson disc bag now fills. This bag is great, can't recommend it enough. A bag I think I've only used once. This is a little, I think it was called a bag at bag. It's just like a little under the arm, tiny, can fit like your phone, your keys, and your lip gloss. Super cute bag. Um, I got this when I was doing some work with Urban Outfitters. It was a styling piece that I used. So I haven't actually really found a time that I've wanted to use it. So this may be something I would throw up on my Depop, um, sell to one of you guys. But it is super cute. It's like obviously in great condition. I only use it the one time. Like I said before, I like to carry too much stuff and I'm not this tiny of a bag type of girl. <laughs> this little clutch bag, it's like a little blue suede clutch bag. It's a little, little bit gross, it's vintage. Um, oh, it's got a brand, I've never looked it up. It's on the inside. It is like a double-sided little pouch guy. I bought this bag for $10 at a yard sale, and I love it, and this is why I love it. This is the best part. It has a little handle that slides up in the middle. How cute is that? Yeah, anyways, this bag is freaking great. I haven't used it in ages, but I won't get rid of it because I love it so much. It's so fun. Another vintage purse that I have is this little guy here. It's a little straw one, super cute. I think I bought it for like 20 euros in Paris at like a street market. The only thing is, is the leather or leather of the strap is cracking and quite badly that like just the stitching is holding it together there. I have sentimental attachment now to this bag because I did buy it in Paris and it was like such a fun trip. I automatically just like, I'm like, oh, this is my Paris bag. But as I was pulling all my other bags out for this trip, I realized that I bought a big tote bag. I'll show you this big tote bag. <laughs> also in Paris. And I use this like all the time. So this could just be my Paris bag. It's huge. It's like a massive, massive tote bag. On the other side, I'm oh, sorry, that's Charlotte's dog bowl. Her travel bowl. It has like this wiener dog. It says Le Mont Saint Michel, which is 
the store that I bought it at. They like are known for like their classic pieces, like workwear jackets, really beautiful stuff, high quality stuff. And this tote has served me very well and will continue to do so. So maybe it's time to get rid of this Paris bag, but I also feel like it's in like kind of rough shape. Like I shouldn't get rid of it. Oh, you know what I could do? I could probably get someone to make me a new leather strap for it. Hmm, but I still don't think I would use this bag. Let me know what you guys think I should do. Moving on to another vintage bag. I have this little guy. Super cute patent leather Burks bag. You can see in there, with the little gold Burks. I don't know if you can actually see that. It's got a little gold Burks thing in there. This one I picked up from the Aberfoyle Antique Market in Aberfoyle, Ontario. I had gone once, I can't remember who I ended up buying this with, but I had gone once, I had seen this bag, and then I went like months later and it was still there. I was like, okay, well this is the sign, I should probably buy it. I think it was $30. I've looked and I've seen one of these available on Etsy, I think for like $250, which is pretty cool. So it's nice to know that it has a bit of value. I don't think I'd be looking to sell this bag. Well, you never know, I might. <laughs> but it's just really cute. It's a really nice like classic shape. I like it a lot. It's like an occasion bag, like it's not something I would pull out for every day. A couple more tote bags I have. So this is the Shape of a Picnic tote in the green and the white. They sent this to me maybe a year and a half ago, maybe a year ago, I can't remember. But they sent this to me with like the matching picnic blanket. I didn't know I needed a picnic blanket and matching tote until I received this and I've actually gotten so much use out of it. It's so handy, I keep them together now. So I know if we're going to go like eat lunch in a park or whatever, I just grab this bag and it's got our blankie inside. And this is one tote even without the blanket that I've gotten so much use out of. I can probably insert like a crazy amount of photos here of me with this bag. It's, it's great, I love it. Oh, and then this tote, I actually have like a large collection of just like classic canvas tote bags that I'm not gonna show you guys just because that's not too exciting. Uh, but any of the like more special ones I've brought to include in this video. So like this one, this is the an Outdoor Voices tote in pink and it's got Los Angeles screened on the back. Now this is special because a couple years ago I was invited on a trip with Glossier and they gave us Outdoor Voices stuff to wear for a hike and it came in this tote and now I'm just like, well, it's glossy pink, kind of. And it was such a special trip. And it's just me hanging on to another sentimental item. I don't really wear it currently, but I have worn it a ton in the past. And I really like it. And I'll probably just keep it forever. If you want to see the videos from that Glossier LA trip, I'll link those down below as well. I have a couple backpacks here as well. I have this little yellow Pajal Raven backpack. It's like the small size. This is actually like the perfect size backpack. I have worn this so much. It's so good, especially if you bike. It's so filthy and disgusting, but I have washed it, but the stains are just embedded. I kind of was thinking lately that I wouldn't mind getting a black one, and I also maybe wouldn't mind getting a pink one, because I think they're really cute. And I used to like exclusively wear backpacks because of the convenience of it all. So maybe I should do that. Hmm. I'm not supposed to be shopping though, so I won't do that now. One very special bag. You guys have probably seen this before. It is my Louis Cherry bag. It's a Speedy. And this was a very, very kind gift from Pat. Uh, it's a long story, I won't get into it, but basically he came home and surprised me with this purse. It is, it's used, he got it at a designer consignment store and it's in such good condition and it's so crazy because I don't think either of us realized how um, kind of rare and hard to get these guys are. But I'm freaking obsessed with this bag. I've always loved like the um, monogram Louis Vuitton bags and then to have this as like, have the cherry version. It's so cool, it's so cool. So this is like a bag that I will keep for my entire life and it's very special to me and it was a very, very kind present from Pat. We're nearing the end guys. So this bag right here, this is just kind of like a, I wanna say almost like boho shape but it's nylon, it's got this nice black, black ring, silver ring. Um, I actually picked this up at Valley Value in LA. It's like a thrift store, Valley Value. I believe, what's the brand? I believe it's just Talbots. That's what it is, it's Talbots. So we still have Talbots in like the mall or whatever, but this is such an awesome bag. It fits so much stuff. There are so many pockets inside, which leads me to almost believe, is this a diaper bag? I don't really know, but I'm okay with it either way. I think I bought it for like seven US dollars. It's awesome. It's like a good like carry-all, throw everything in there and go. 
I'm a big fan. Another gift from Pat. <laughs> He's bought me many a purses. Is this 1130 black embossed tote bag. So it's a leather bag and the 1130 brand, they are manufactured here in Toronto. They do everything by hand, which is super cool. He used to do some work for them, shot some lookbooks for them. So I believe they helped him choose this guy for me. It's got the little top handle straps as well as the long shoulder straps. And it's just like a good throw everything and go kind of bag. I haven't honestly used it in a very long time. And I've more recently thought, should I sell this bag? But looking at it again now, I'm like, I can definitely see myself getting back into using this, especially like in the fall winter. It's such like a a good classic piece that I think it's one that I should definitely hang on to. Moving on to the stow. This is a beautiful black bucket bag with a kind of rope detail tie. Now, the stow is based in Montreal. They make beautiful bags. I think at this point when this bag was produced, they were being made still in house in Montreal. Now their products are outsourced to a leather manufacturer in Spain and all their bags are super good quality. They definitely will stand the test of time. Like this is heavy duty. The only reason why I don't really wear this bag a ton um, is just because I I caught like the little rope on my leather jacket and I pulled this big pull in it and it kind of just bothers me. But it is a super beautiful bag. Again, one that I definitely feel like I should keep for a long time because even if I don't wear it a ton now, I could see myself wearing it a ton later. Another bag from the Stowe and this is when I was gifted recently from them which is like so cool because like i used to like ooze over the stow's bags and then this year i met up with the owner and founder of the stow and she was just like yo what bag do you want let me bring you one so she brought me this one which is i believe it's called the mia and this is in the arctic blue color i think that's right like i said i'll link everything down below and this is such a good size bag it's a crossbody bag which is perfect. It's in a fun color, which I love. It's got gold hardware. Like I said, I usually wear silver, but this is so subtle that I don't really notice it. And it's such a good size that I can fit like all my necessities, wallet, phone, camera, all that kind of stuff with a bit of extra room, which is surprising because it does look like a little bit of a small bag. And then it has this back pocket here, which has quite the uh, intense magnet. So everything is quite secure when it's in that back pocket. Just two more bags to go. This is my Blue Tile Lounge tote bag. If you're not familiar, Blue Tile Lounge is a skate shop here in Toronto. Um, they're good friends of Pat's and mine. Uh, so I have one of their bags. And on the other side, shirtless Justin Trudeau. Justin Trudeau is always shirtless. I've said it before. If you're going to be shirtless all the time, people are going to put you on tote bags. It's just the way it is. They got real detailed with the abs there too. The pecs. Anyways, I use this bag a ton. It's got a zipper on the top too, which makes it like an awesome tote bag. So that way, when you're just like kind of throwing your shit around, nothing falls out. And then very lastly, I have this Acne Studios tote bag. And it's kind of like the material of like, like you can hear it. It's got that like crunch. It's kind of like a typical market type bag, but it's got like this little front pocket here which is super, super cute. And I just love like the colors and how all the colors are striped and they're all different. And it's a huge bag. I actually, I don't really have like an overnight bag. I mean, I do have like some of the North Face kind of duffel bags, but I don't have anything a little bit smaller than that. So if I'm packing real light, I'll use this bag as like an, a weekend bag. Or if I know I'm expecting something in the mail or whatever it is, I'll usually bring this bag with me. It's convenient too because I can fold it up. I can just tuck it under my arm and then I can open it up when I need to. It's great. Anyways, those are all my bags. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know down below which is your favorite bag that I have. Which is your least favorite as well. Let's get spicy. Uh, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe down below and I will see you guys in the next video.